you're going to find I-cord bind-offs in a lot of West Knit shawls. I use this technique because it gives a really round and smooth frame to your shawl borders, and it's also quite stretchy, so you don't have to worry about your bind-off being too, too tight. So bind-off in the same color that you're knitting with, or we got to embrace our color pop opportunities. And you can use a color pop to do that same I-cord bind-off technique, and let's dive in and learn how to do it. The I-cord bind-off is going to add a really smooth edge to finish your shawl or sweater, like this royal blue I-cord bind-off in the Wavy Wiggles shawl. I'm going to show you on this regular garter stitch swatch with regular edges first, and then look at this swatch. It already has I-cord edges. We'll work on that next. So if you're working with the pattern that says cast on three stitches using the cable cast on method, you're going to do this dive into the middle between stitch one and stitch two to cast on one and then you're going to dive between those two stitches to cast on two and dive in between the middle of those stitches to cast on three. That was cable cast on three times. Now knit two stitches, knit two together through the back loop slip three stitches onto left needle, and repeat. Knit two, knit two together through the back, and slip them onto the left needle, knit two, knit two together through the back loop. This is how most of my I-cord bind-offs are worked. Sometimes in patterns you might see a slip slip knit where you knit two, Slip, slip, knit. Slip knitwise, slip knitwise, knit two together through the back. Slip them onto the left needle, knit two, slip, slip, knit. Slip, slip, then knit them through the back. So whichever way is easiest for you, both of those work. So you can do the knit two together through the back or the slip, slip, knit. Slip, slip, knit. It all works, and you're soon going to start to see this beautiful I-cord edge to finish your project. What if you already have I-cord stitches at the left and right edges of your project? Well, the pattern will just say to knit two, and then knit two together through the back. Slip those three stitches onto the left needle, and repeat knit two, knit two together through the back, and slip. Just keep repeating that all the way until you reach the end of the row. Again, sometimes it depends on the pattern. Some I chords will say to knit two and then slip, slip, knit. Knitwise, knitwise, two together through the back. Knit two. Let's try it with a slip, slip, knit. Slip, slip, knit those two together. Whatever you do, just do the same thing. They will both look pretty much the same. And some patterns bind off on the right side, and some bind off on the wrong side. The great thing about this pattern, like the wavy wiggles, is it's reversible, so it looks really nice and smooth on the right side and the wrong side. Here is the I-cord bind-off on the Rockefeller shawl. It is so smooth and even, so just keep repeating that over and over until you reach the end of your row. And some patterns, like Vertices Unite, look at this. There's I-cord around the entire perimeter of this color blocked shawl. So it works with the same technique. You have all of these stitches around the edge of your shawl, and then you work those I-cord rows to make that crisp, clean finish to your shawl. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm binding off, and what if the pattern says to do that I-cord bind off until six final stitches remain? Well, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have three I-cord stitches on your right needle, and three I-cord stitches on your left needle if you had that I-cord edge in your project. 
So the pattern says graft the remaining six stitches together. You're going to break the yarn and then this right needle is going to go like this. So it points to the right and the left needle, you need to reverse the order of those three stitches so that both needle tips are facing the same direction and the purl bumps of those three stitches are kissing each other. So you're looking at the knit, knit, knit stitches on the outside. So I broke the tail of yarn. You're going to pop that onto a tapestry needle and graft those six stitches together. Go through the first stitch on the front needle purlwise go through the back needle, that first stitch, knitwise. Now you're going to go through the first stitch on the front needle, knitwise, off. Go through the next stitch on the front, purlwise, leave it on. Now with the back needle, you'll go through the first stitch, purlwise, and take it off the needle. And the next stitch on the back needle, knitwise, leave it on. Front needle, knitwise, off. Front needle, the next stitch, go through it purlwise, leave it on. The back needle, purlwise, take it off. And go through the next back needle stitch, knitwise, leave it on. And to finish, we're going to go through the front needle stitch knitwise and the back needle stitch purlwise. And that's going to graft those remaining six stitches together with Kitchener stitch, making a really nice rounded corner to finish your I-cord frame. Weave in those ends, and this will be the last step to finish your project. A lot of my shawls finish with that technique grafting the last stitches together, and here's the I-cord bind off. It's quite stretchy and nice. If you feel like it's too tight, you might want to go up a needle size to do that bind off, but see how it feels. Once you bind off like 10 stitches, see if it's really, really tight. It should have about this much stretch. Not too much, not too little, just right. We'll give that I-cord bind off some practice. It's really smooth, really crisp. And remember, if you think you're running out of yarn near the end of your project, that I-cord bind off, it's not a problem to run out of yarn. It's a color pop opportunity, okay? So grab a new color, bind off with the color pop, and call it done, all right? I'm gonna make a lot more technique videos that you can watch. They're linked down below, and you can subscribe to my channel to catch all the latest inspiration here in the West Knit Studio. I'll see you in the next one.